reason that you shouldn't dye your hair is because you're bored of your natural hair color and you just want to spice it up. Um, because then, if you get bored with your hair color easily, you're going to get bored of your dyed hair and then you're going to not want to take care of it and then it's going to fade and then you're going to be stuck with faded hair. Um, now, reasons that some people dye their hair is because they want to stand out. Um, that wasn't really a reason I wanted to dye my hair. Um, I, w I dyed my hair because it looked cool, yeah, like I said. And I wanted to show my, like, artisticness. Um, and that I'm a cool person, even though I don't really like to talk a lot um, when I'm a really around other people. Um, so, yeah. Um, some people want to dye their hair for attention. And that's great. You definitely will get attention if you dye your hair. Like, a lot of it. Because I, I got a lot of attention for dyeing mine. Just don't do it. It'll end up being terrible. It might be harsh, but if you do it yourself, everyone will know. Seriously, it's awful. I've seen so many people on the street where it's obvious they did it themselves and it's terrible. And I understand that you might not be able to afford to go to a salon, but if you can't, at least get your friend to do it. Like, if you do it yourself, you can't really see back there, so it just... This one was the most difficult decision for me. So if you're dyeing your whole head, like I did, it doesn't really matter what color you do, it'll look good. Like, I personally don't really prefer the pastel rainbows. It's like, there's a pony on my head! So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so pretty much anything will look good. Um, if you're just doing the tips, or if you're doing like a stripe or something, um, then if you have blonde hair, you can pretty much get away with any color. Um, but if you have if you have brown hair, um, it might not show up as well if you do a pastel color. So you might want to do like a more like poppy outy color. Oh yeah, and if you have dark hair, if you're dyeing your whole head, you're gonna get roots. So a pastel color may not be the best idea. So first of all, don't wash your hair for at least three days afterward. I, just to be safe, chose to not wash my hair for until a week afterward, or until like if you scratch the back of your neck like this, um, if you look at your fingernails, if there's like purple or whatever color you dyed your hair on there, it means it's not ready to wash. That's what I've discovered. Um, also, I wear a shower cap every day um, when I go in the shower, except for about two days a week. And where I just run it under water, I have a I have a very um, oily hair type, so what I do is I just spritz it with dry shampoo every day. And um, if you if you have a very dry hair type, then um, you can use a leave-in product. But I don't recommend washing your hair every day. That's like the number one mistake that people with dyed hair make, and then it'll fade and look really bad. And don't use um, normal shampoo because that's what really washes the hair color out. So, if you have brown hair, the first thing that they're going to do to your hair is bleach it. Now, I think it's hydrogen peroxide. I'll have to make sure. They put it in your hair. They brush it on with a um, little paintbrush-like thingy. And what they do is they um, clip your hair up, and then they put these little wax things on there. And then they put this um, shower cap on you um, for a very long time. It's like... It's like 45 minutes and then what they do is they come and they take that off and they wash all the hydrogen peroxide out of your hair by the way um it might sting or burn a tiny little bit it doesn't hurt that bad and then you'll look in the mirror and your hair will be like yellow but like don't freak out because like it's not gonna look like that forever unless you don't take care of your hair then it'll fade and then you'll be stuck with yellow hair um <laughs> Like, it's not, like, blonde yellow, it's, like, yellow yellow, so you might not want that. Um, and also, um, what they do next is they take these little foil things, and they take your hair, and then what they do is they put the foil under like this, 
and then they brush it on and then they fold the foil and I have a lot of hair so this took a long time like forever um <laughs> so if they're doing it on you it, if you have a lot of hair it may take a while because they need to like brush every section of your hair and then when they put it in you need to wait like another 45 minutes um and then they'll take it out and wash that out and then when you're done you'll have a perfect like dyed hair and you can show it off to your friends bye guys thanks for watching um i hope you have a good day um please subscribe and smash that like button like you want to break your computer bye